everybody, Backyard Bullion here, and a very warm welcome to you all to episode 198 of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver or gold. Last week it was the turn of the Rwandan Nautical Series with the new edition, the 2020 Mayflower, an absolutely stunning coin to round out a very good looking series. If you've not checked those coins out, there's a link down in the description below. This week we are continuing the nautical theme by having a look at the Royal Fortune Black Flag Black Bart coin. Absolutely stunning and a big thank you to everybody who voted for it in last week's episode. The other items will be returning today at the end of this episode for you to cast your eye and indeed your vote on what you'd like to see next time. But today it is all about this absolutely stunning coin. We've just got two of the same one by the way uh, so that we can see both sides at once. Uh, I absolutely love this and it's just a really good continuation of the nautical theme and I have to say nautical themed coins are really, there's something poetic about them, there's something that harks through our history about them and somebody mentioned this in the comment section last week on the Rwandan themed coins, Rwandan nauticals, that there aren't really very many coin series that commemorate trains or commemorate cars or planes, but boats and nautical themed coins, there's a lot and they garner a lot of attention and that's, I just think, because nautical and boats and ships and sailing has been such a part of human history for thousands of years. It's been the mainstay of how we've lived, worked, communicated, uh, traveled, colonized, the world and it's uh, I think a really interesting theme that harks to a lot of people even now in this modern world where we don't necessarily use uh, ships for transportation of ourselves much they are integral to the way that the world works with cargo ships keeping countries and economies supplied so anyway that's my kind of first take is that nautical themed coins generally are really cool and this one is no exception because it's incredibly well made by none other than the Perth Mint. The Perth Mint just do such stunning work and you can understand why this is so popular. Now just a quick background on the series. So the series is called the Black Flag series and it's a series of coins which will be commemorating famous pirates. First time round it was the Queen Anne's Revenge with Blackbeard. This time it's all about Black Bart and the Royal Fortune. If you don't know Black Bart, and I, I'm a huge pirate fan, I love, I mean, I love remembering uh, reading Treasure Island as a child, obviously the, like the Muppet Treasure Island movie was one of my all-time favourites as a child. I love the stories of pirates, I love the history of pirates. If you've never seen the TV series Black Flag, uh, I would highly recommend you watch it. It's a fantastic fantastic show with some really good interesting history all about the story of Long John Silver but uh, yeah absolutely love it and this particular pirate Black Bart was one of the most famous pirates of his time also known as Bartholomew Roberts and his uh, his legacy of being a pirate was to the point of almost near mythology which rounded out why it was such a a big deal when he was finally killed in action aboard his Royal Fortune vessel. It was, it took, apparently, I'm reading here online, it took the pirate world by surprise. It, you know, these people thought he was immortal, invulnerable, invincible as a pirate. His legend was such that he could not be defeated in battle or by others. And um, yeah, it's just, it's really harks back to a time of history where treasure and piracy and the seven seas and the high seas were just, you know, at this, people went into piracy for the glory of it, for the excitement of it. It's, it's a horrible thing to kind of think about because ultimately, you know, it's obviously murder, death, piracy, you know, it, it's just not a nice topic really to think about. But at the time it was almost myth mythological in the way that people looked at it. And uh, of course, you know, sailing, sailing around the Caribbean, doing whatever you liked and taking whatever you want from whoever you want it was just seen as a, as a way of life for some people, but um, yeah, all came to an end eventually. But this is a really interesting uh, coin, the Royal Fortune, and uh, having, I, I knew a little bit about Bartholomew Roberts and Black Bart before I'd heard the name, I'd seen, you know, seen a few mentions of him in various different things that I've read about and heard about over my lifetime, but I never really delved deep into it, and it's really an interesting story. He stole the Royal Fortune from the Portuguese fleet. He basically sailed into a group of 42 ships, found the one that he liked the best, raided it, stole it, sailed off with it. I mean, that's just, just so brazen, so amazing. And uh, and then he just was this legendary pirate. Eventually he was uh, taken down by the, uh, the Royal Navy in a really interesting battle engagement where it went on for a couple of hours and only three of his crew were killed, including himself, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, by grape shot of all things. So it wasn't even like a, you know, a personal 
saw through the gut pirate death. It was a unfortunate. He was standing on deck, got shot with some grape shot. That's it. You're done. Bye bye. And uh, really interestingly, so his part of his myth and legend was that he would always said that if he were to die as a pirate, he would want to be buried at sea in all of his pirate finery. So he was thrown overboard. He was uh, buried at sea and weighed down. Body was never recovered. And that just added to his myth and legend. In all his pirate regality, you can sort of imagine him there and all of his pirate uh, out you know, outrigging all his gear, just being buried at sea. Really interesting stuff. But anyway, one other last, last interesting fact about Bartholomew Roberts is that he, he didn't necessarily go into piracy like I was mentioning earlier. People didn't necessarily target to go into piracy, but he was very much like when things happened such that he was then going to be a pirate, one of his famous quotes is that now he has dipped his hands in muddy water and if a pirate I must be, tis a better thing being a commander than a common man. So he was always going to be captain. He was elected captain. And it's really interesting. So there's another thing about, I find fascinating about pirates and piracy and the world of pirates is that it's little known fact that a lot of the time it was actually a very, very structured democracy on these ships and people were elected into the roles of captain and quartermaster and um, things were divided out pretty evenly across the crew and it was all part of um, this sort of new world movement of freedom, of, uh, of state and, you know, just making people you know, independent of each other. And I thought that was really interesting. But anyway, I'm not saying that piracy is the life, but, you know, there, there are, it's built into kind of antiquity almost in that time period that um, piracy was that, uh, that glorious life. It was a short life for a lot of them, but it was a glorious life. So really interesting stuff. Now, anyway, let's just focus. I've, I've talked a lot about pirates and piracy and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it all rings true with this coin. Let's just talk a little bit about the coin itself what makes it good, what makes it potentially not so good as well. So I think we can all agree that design-wise this is absolutely stunning and you can see the sheer quality of this coin coming out from the Perth Mint. The finish is just sublime. 15,000 as a mintage, which is a really tiny mintage, all things considered. So I really like this as a coin. I think it's got a lot of potential for the future. It's got popularity with the pirate themes. It's got um, obviously nautical connotations there as well. I just think it looks fantastic and uh, very well made with a low mintage, fantastic stuff. And uh, along with all of that as well, um, you know, the price point, pretty high, I'm not going to lie. Premiums where they are these days, actually grand scheme of things, I'm saying this is not too bad. And I say that because I remember coins like the Perth Mint Swan, uh, which came out, um, gosh, what, I think 2016, 17, the first one, it was priced around a similar price point and um, obviously back then you could get silver for a much cheaper uh, price at the bullion end of the scale. So from that perspective this does represent maybe a kind of a good deal in the sense that you're not paying as high a premium over spot as you perhaps used to be um, but still at essentially like £40 a coin at the moment I think it's a pretty good price if you can get them for that at the moment. Um, it does represent a pretty expensive piece of silver, one uh, obviously piece of silver here for £40 is quite a lot but I do think with that limited mintage with this exceptionally high quality finish and design uh, that it's got some legs to go forward. I haven't really looked at the other side. Uh, that's my only criticism of the coin and it's a criticism I, I levy on quite a lot of different coins out there in this world that um, often the queen's head side or the reverse side of the coin uh, can be overlooked, can be neglected to just be boring. It would have been nice to see some piratey themed or some nautical themed coins on there. but. I think it more than makes up for it with this side because, as you can see, just every every little detail of this ship is stunning. Just love it. Looks like it's glistening in that Caribbean sun. So yeah, uh, you know, overall I would rate this coin a 9 out of 10. I do think that the price point there is the only perhaps negativity there. If you can obviously pick them up for a lot less, that's really, really, I think, uh, you know, surefire. I say surefire as best as can be, guys. That's not, you know, financial advice to you run out and get them. but. If you can get them at a really low price, of course, they're going to be, I think, really very popular. Um, I know that they're going to be um, popular going forwards in terms of the second hand market, especially as more come out over time. There's so many different pirates that can be celebrated and uh, well, I say celebrated, commemorated on these coins. And um, I think it's really interesting. So, yeah, that's my take on the Black Bart. I really do think it's a nice coin and I'd love to know your opinions on it. So please feel free to let me know your thoughts down in that comment section. Now, before you jump down there and let me know, also have a look at what we've got lined up for next week. We've got the unpronounceable, I'm gonna try this again, I haven't even pra uh, practiced it, the uh, Celiophysis Rhodesiensis. 
dinosaur coin. Very interesting coin. We'll have a look at that if you so wish. Then we also had last week the Kraken coin, which again, I suppose is following on from that nautical themed world, release the Kraken. Um, but I also want to lump in with it this other two ounce Canadian coin. And I generally want to talk about this sort of second generation, new generation silver from the Canadian mint in one go rather than lump just one different video for each one. So that's a package deal if you want those. And then there's another Perf Mint item, which is the 2020 Dragon Bar. And we're going to check in on those and see how things are performing with generally the Dragon Bars because they were really, really, really hot when they first came out uh, back in 2017. And it'll be interesting to sort of check in and see where they are. So let me know what you'd like to see next time on In Focus Friday. Let me know your thoughts on the Black Bart, if you've got some, if this video has inspired you to go out and find some. It's always nice to know. And a big shout out to all my BYB Rambling Society members out there who've been listening to minute 11 of me rambling on about coins and pirates. I really do appreciate everything. Let me know if you're a BYB Rambling Society member. It's always fun to hear from you guys and girls. I know there's a lot of you out there that are ladies that listen to the channel as well. Thank you as well. Otherwise, that is it from me. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. For those who are watching this long, Sunday's video is going to be a silver pouring compilation, so wait for that with lots of joy. There's going to be lots of lovely silver flowing, nice music in the background, nice way to chill out and relax, I have no doubt. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend ahead. Thank you all for watching, and please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.